I had seen the show before, the American version and the Australian version, and I was like, oh my gosh, can I become one of these girls? Yeah. <laughs> Season two came around and I got that call, so here I am. I was told they needed someone ballsy. I felt they needed, had Gina, but they needed somebody else, so I think I'm the one, right? <laughs> Working with men is a piece of cake. You gotta repeat, you know, things a few times, but they're easy. They're not complicated. Women are complicated, competitive, bitchy, and the list goes on. Can I keep going? I don't have enough time. Working with these women is like swimming in a pool of piranhas. Um, you get eaten alive. Last series, people thought I was being very mean. I'll give you mean girls and boys. <laughs> My close girlfriends would uh, describe me as being really funny. I come across cocky, but I'm not at all because it's my sense of humor. And once you get to know me, you actually enjoy my cocky sense of humor and laugh your pants off rather than being a bitch. A fun moment for me was wearing the uh, beautiful headpiece and channeling everything from Grace Jones to Whitney Houston and walking down those stairs. That was amazing. Not really afraid of anything. Shit, I went to the shark tank, didn't I? And I said, if the bastards bite me, well, they're going to get poisoned. <laughs> I would describe Chica is cunning. I would describe Gina as lucky. I would describe Gamble as feral. <laughs> I would describe Lydia as funny. Now, Jackie, I've got to think of something really nice, don't I? I would describe Jackie as a fame whore. I would describe Susie as desperate. <laughs> oh, Janet. Janet, she'll sell her soul to the devil. <laughs>